Hello. Today we're going to be going over coding problem 3.5.2, which is from the unit 3.5 problem set, which is error handling. Um, and yeah, problem coding problem two. So in this question, we're asked to first try to see if we can divide a mystery value by itself and then print the result. If we're not able to do that, then we should divide the mystery value by mystery value plus five. And then if that doesn't work, then we should multiply mystery value by five and print the result. So basically what we have is a set of conditions that we're trying to check through if they're possible. But if they're not possible, then they'll error, which is why we have to use error handling or a try and uh, accept block. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just write the normal try block. So here's our try. And then we'll put the first condition which is simply we should just print the result of mystery value divided by itself. Now, when would this not work? Well, really, if mystery value is any number, this wouldn't work when mystery value is equal to zero, which is why we have the second case, which we'll put into our accept block which only runs if whatever's inside the try block, which is line 24 over here, errors. And we don't need to know the error um, specifically, as long as we only put just the word accept. So if this does not work, then we are told to print, to divide mystery value by mystery value plus five. So we'll write that here. Plus five. Now, as I said before, in theory, this should work for any number because our only like mystery case was would be if mystery value was zero. So let's try submitting this and see what happens. And the submission report says that they try the code with the word cat, which means that our mystery value isn't necessarily a number, which is why we have to do the other case, which is if that still fails, starting right here, if that still fails, multiply mystery value by five and print the result, which is why you see over here, the cat is multiplied by itself five times and then printed as such. So where do we put this other try except block? Well, if you read the question and think about it logically, we want to, our first priority is to check line 24, to try to divide mystery value by itself. If that doesn't happen, then we want to do line 26, which is to divide mystery value by itself plus five and print the value. Now, if that still fails, which is the key here, is that after checking the second condition, only then would we want to go to the last condition, which is why we would put our try accept block nested inside of this, the accept block on line 25. So to modify this, we would just put the second condition inside of another try block. And then after that, we would just, sorry, write another accept block, where here we would print history value times Let's see if this works. So essentially what we're doing is if the mystery value is not zero, then line 24 will run and it'll run successfully without error. If mystery value is um, either zero or not a number, then it'll go into the success block where, the, where it'll like catch the error and then go under this try block in line 26. Then it'll try to print um, the result, a mystery value divided by mystery value plus five. So if it's a number, then either lines 24 or 27 will run without error. But since mystery value isn't necessarily a number, we have to add this case for in line 29, where it catches if mystery value is not a number. In this case, it was a string with um, the word cat, 
and then if it is, then it'll catch the error, and then it'll print mystery value um, times five times itself. So, and we see that this code works. If you want to look over the full results, we see that here they tested it with a number, the number five, in which case line, uh, the first case condition should have worked. Here they tried it with zero, which means the second condition should have worked. And here they tried it with the word cat. Over here they tried it with seven and 11, so two numbers. But here they tried it with like a string or like a string of like characters, which shouldn't work because it's not really a number. So what the code did is it multiplied it by itself. Um, um, sorry, five different times. Now here, in this last case, although it is a number, it's um, input into the variable mystery value as a string. So when our code runs, it is treated as a string, which is why um, the code resulted in this set of numbers multiplied five times. So that is it. Hopefully this video helped. Thank you.